and welcome to another episode of Frightfully Forgotten Horror Movies. We have another patron request, and this is requested by the Ageless Ascetic, 1977's Kingdom of the Spiders. That's right. But before we get started, what are we drinking? We're drinking Miller Genuine Draft. Mmm. <laughs> This movie stars the Canadian national treasure himself, William Shatner. That's right. Mr. Jeffrey Man! Co-starring with him is Tiffany Bowling. And Woody Strode is in this. But just name a few things. He's been in Spartacus, The Ten Commandments, 1981's Scream, and The Quick and the Dead. Natasha Ryan is in this too, and she was in The Entity and The Amityville Horror. Movie starts off with William Shatner's character, whose nickname is Rack. He's a veterinarian, lassoing this calf. <laughs> He's with what we find out later is his dead brother's wife. Play fighting after he gives that calf the injection and <laughs> get a little too close and Shatner shoves her along. Yeah. I'm not my brother. Pushes yeah, her super like hard, super hard. Like, just Kirk style. Yeah. An emergency at the Colby farm. Calf that's come sick. Poor thing is dying and he doesn't know why. So he takes a bunch of blood samples and sends them away to the big city so they can hopefully find out what caused this calf to die. Hanging out in his porch, drinking some Miller. The sheriff comes by and he all throws a sheriff <laughs> a beer. <laughs> the mayor comes by, you know, gives the mayor a beer. They're drinking and Diane swings by, but she's there to tell him there's a big problem here. What killed your calves was not some weird disease. It's a venom from a spider. Him and Diane together go over to the Colby farm, and the dog is dead now. You mentioned the spider venom. Well, spiders? Why, well, there just happens to be a big spider hill over here. <laughs> I'll go show you. Now you yeah, mention Now you mention it. And Colby <laughs> takes them over to see this big, huge spider hill. This thing like, gets like this high on yeah. them. It's covered in spiders. Diane is kind of driving down the road. <laughs> yeah, yo, super comes up behind her speeding. <laughs> And like almost runs her right off the road. And then he, he all parks and he gets out and he's all forceful. <laughs> he's like, how about dinner? Picks her up, puts her in the passenger seat and drives her car off. And leaves his truck on the highway. <laughs> Diane isn't all that afraid of these spiders, right? The spider kind of gets into one of the drawers and you think there's going to be a pretty tense scene. No, she opens up the drawer and the spider's there. She's like, oh, hey, you. So while they're all trying to, you know, getting all lovey-dovey in yeah. the room, let's get rid of that hill. Colby had that in mind all along. He already yeah. has the gas <laughs> can in hand. Yeah. Burn in hell, <laughs> you sons of bitches. <laughs> They go on some sick picnic, like some... Out in the <laughs> desert? <laughs> yeah. Like they take those horses out and the poor horses are going through all those cactus? <laughs> like what? <laughs> they see Colby driving in his truck. Colby's truck. <laughs> Pulls the visor down. Ah! <laughs> All these spiders come onto him and he runs off the road. He all grabs the rope and winds Goes himself down. down and everything. He's like, what do you have to do with anything? You're the veterinarian <laughs> the of the vet. town. He comes down, he's all webbed up. Come up with a plan, dust the whole area where they're finding all those spider hills. While he's up in the air, the spiders start to actually <laughs> attack him. <laughs> <laughs> flies over town with all those dangerous <laughs> chemicals and everything. And then he just flies into that barn and it all blows up. The sheriff, he starts to drive into town. Complete mayhem, mayhem from yeah. these from these spiders. They're starting to kill like the townsfolk. The mayor's all there and he's all flagging them he down. Drives them <laughs> over, <laughs> runs over the mayor. There's that water tower that comes down and kills the sheriff. Rack, Diane, and the rest of the town, they start to hold up, and that's where we're gonna end it. So why should you watch Kingdom of the Spiders? William Shatner to begin with. He's not that bad in this movie. Well, he's not bad in any movie, no. but he doesn't 
ham it up. He's yep. not overacting. Pretty relaxed movie. It's slow. And so the character kind of evolves like that too. Yeah. And near the end, where the shit hits the fan, then he kind of shats it up a bit, right? Then a he little bit. The, get back to the lodge. <laughs> <laughs> give me a hat. I said, give me a hammer and nails. <laughs> when the spiders come through that, that window, we go, <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah! And then climbing up that <sighs> all slow up those stairs. Yeah. That's when he kind of shats it up a bit, but until then, he's playing it cool. It's not a B-movie at all. It kind of, like, presents itself as one, but it's not. Like, it no. looks great. Like, the effects are all good, and it, it's, the acting's all good, the dialogue is good. It's not campy at all, no, really, no. besides maybe the few little things that Shatner does just because it's him. But besides that, it's not a campy B-movie at all. It's pretty... Exactly. It's pretty A-list, takes its time, get some character building in there, and there's lots of story being built before the shit really hits the fan. And that brings us to the characters of this movie. They all have their little part to play, their own little pieces of dialogue that move the movie forward. None of them are a throwaway, like the gas station attendant and the guy... The drunk guy. The drunk guy. <laughs> Who is in convoy, yeah. mind you. Even that scene is not a throwaway no. scene. Every piece of dialogue serves a purpose. The effects, man, like, mm -hmm. you can't go wrong with real spiders, which is what they use for most of this movie. Crawling on the street and crawling on people. Yeah. The odd time you'll see someone pick up a fake spider and the, the legs aren't moving. But whatever. It's yeah. for two seconds, they right? They do it quick. Shatner in the in the truck when he's kind of sweeping them off the off the bench. Ah, ah! Yeah. It's like you get the real sense. That's real. It's yeah. not acting. You gotta say kudos to all the actors who can deal with that. Exactly. All the actors who had spiders put on them and stuff. Like, yeah, you earned your pay. The setting lends itself to some great shots and cinematography on the desert and all these like <laughs> yeah. big plains. It looks really good. It is. It's well shot and well directed. The comedy in this movie is great and it's intentional. It's not like you're laughing because it's bad. Yep. You're laughing because it is smart and they put comedy in there on purpose. It's a well written movie. The social commentary in this is pretty blatant, yep. but it works. You know, like the strong female lead, like you said, opens up the drawer, sees a spider, any other horror movie. This one, oh, hey. That has a lot to do with what this movie is trying to say, that women can be strong people. And they do do it kind of in a poor way at some points, where like Shatner cures the women's lib. <laughs> you didn't need that. <laughs> they also touch on the overuse of chemicals. The chemicals you would use to exterminate these spiders in a mass capacity. Yeah. Well, yeah, what's that going to do to everything else? And they touch on all that. I love that part of it, because, like, the spiders inadvertently take out a whole bunch of the town by stinging that guy yeah. with those, that crop well, duster, they, you know, they, kills all those people. They almost have an agenda, the yeah. spiders, right? Yeah. They kind of know what they're doing. Yeah. You know? It's kind of <laughs> neat. This movie kind of plays out also like a bit of a zombie movie, too, right? Like Night of the Living Dead. You have a group of people, and they kind of hold themselves up in that diner and they yeah. they're boarding they're up. boarding up the windows the doors these spiders they can seem to get into anything any little crack yeah you know? not like a zombie you have to like get in the whole door exactly yeah, yeah. which is kind of neat because you can't block every little crevice and hole right, right. which is yeah. kind of it's really cool there was a lot of controversy with this movie too because as watching the movie you can see that a lot of spiders got killed or harmed. You can see all these spiders being driven over by this <laughs> car. Like, like, oh, all these spiders they killed. Yeah, them. yeah. You do actually feel... I yeah, kind of felt bad. Like, oh, man. So that's the only downside about this movie. Lassoing that poor calf and everything. It's like, oh, man. A lot of animals seem to be hurt. <laughs> That's one downside of this movie. It looks like there's a bit of animal cruelty involved, which we do not condone at all. No. But besides that, it's a fucking great movie. You know, if you haven't seen Kingdom of the Spiders, you wrote her off because it's, you know, B-movie, William Shatner, yeah. trash. 
Not at all. It's no. anything but. It's actually a very well thought out, well written, well acted, movie. well paced movie. The reputation of this movie suffers because of the reputation of William Shatner. And it shouldn't at all. And it, and it shouldn't. No. Because William Shatner has the reputation of campy yeah. acting. Yeah. That's total bullshit. It is. William Shatner, no. he, he camps it up when he wants to. Yeah. But he's not a bad actor. No, and the thing is, it'd be interesting to see how this movie would have done if you would have had a different main actor. Yeah. Cast Burt Reynolds in it. Would have made millions. Exactly. You know? Exactly. Don't <laughs> overlook it because Shatner's in it, and don't overlook it because it's called Kingdom of the Spiders. It exactly. Is, it's a great movie. It's a lot of fun, and it builds tension, and it builds characters. And what else do you want? Exactly. So until next time. <laughs>